It's me and I'm back in the car. Um, this is a London fog, my drink today. It's an ice London fog and it's very, I thought it would be darker than this, but it has condensed milk and vanilla. And it's good, but it's not as good as I wanted it to be. But it's still good. Um, you can definitely taste the tea. Um, I wanted to talk today about consistency because I'm noticing a trend among people, not just teenagers this time, but people. Dang, I want to be one of those YouTubers who's like chill and quiet and can talk to you. And you can play it in the morning, but I feel like I'm just not. So I'm just going to talk at my normal volume. Um, and the AC is on. The AC is on because it's hot. I'm not under any shade. I'm about to go in the mall. It's on. I, I'm not turning it off. I can't. It's summer, y'all. Um, so I'm sorry if it's annoying. I want to talk about consistency and reaching goals and dreams and all of that because I'm, I keep... I keep meeting people who make excuses and it's and excuses are legitimate so excuse, excuses are real I can't do something because I have kids I can't do something because I work I can't do something I can't make active steps towards something because of this that and the third and it sucks because I know people who want things who genuinely want things but feel like they can't step towards it and I get keep getting praise for me and my lifestyle and my achievements and I'm so proud of that but if, if it's one thing I am proud of myself for is believing in myself believing I can achieve something and believing with almost delusion because it doesn't seem delusional to me that something is going to happen not that something is going to happen but like it's going to happen in time and I believe and I believe it because I'm making active steps towards it. And I believe that something is going to flow over. And this is especially true when I meet people who want to be content creators similar to me. Or better than me. Because that's always the goal. Be better than I am. Reach bigger milestones. And I always tell the people who I feel like have a knack for being in front of the camera to do it. Because I believe that it's achievable. The problem is it's so hard to be consistent and it's hard to stick to something when you're not seeing results and I know that better than anyone because it's so difficult to be consistent and it can feel so humbling when you flop over and over and over again for months and months on end years on end I don't know if anybody knows this but I've been on YouTube since I was what 16 17 making vlogs making videos I had a channel before this one um, and I was editing and I was doing what I could but I was consistent and you know I think I made it to like 700 followers which is incredible you know but it took me like years just to get that and it wasn't until TikTok blew up for me and I, and I got consistent on TikTok where people kind of transferred over to YouTube and now I make completely different content here on YouTube I make sit down talk videos but I want to talk about consistency because I had a I think that's really the ingredient that's missing here when people tell me they have dreams, they have goals and they're not making any active steps towards it or they make a step and they give up because it didn't result in anything. You have to and I you have to stay consistent. It's a disciplinary thing and it's a want thing. It's a need almost. You have to need the thing that you're going for because what I've noticed with cert, with a lot of people is that they'll say they want something they don't want it when I when I hear someone say I really want to read more then read more I can't because I, I get distracted with my phone then you don't want it if you don't want it enough to put your phone down and read more you know what I mean I want to learn a language oh my god that's awesome uh, but I have no time I do this with my time instead okay then you don't really want to learn a language you you think you want it but you don't want it if you wanted it you would be taking steps to get the thing and you wouldn't give up halfway maybe you would people people step away from things and they come back you wouldn't give up halfway you'd stay consistent even when it feels frustrating because i feel like how i have nothing but the end goal in mind because i can see it and maybe that's the problem people aren't visionaries people aren't very imaginative um, but it frustrates me because I, I, it's crazy to see potential in people and see talent in people and want them to step out and do the thing and 
even offer help and do all this, that, and the third and just not see it result in anything because they they give up or they and it's frustrating especially as a creative person to like this can go so many ways it can go for learning a language it's, it could go for getting a dream job it could be for having a successful business it could be for and when you want those things you do the research you get in the trenches you ask questions you do this that and the third when i want something like i want a trip to happen I have to do all that and it takes hours it takes days it takes weeks it takes months to go through all the intricate details do all the research write it all down um cross reference watch the videos read the books do whatever i have to do in order to get the thing that i want and if the thing i want is learning a new language if the thing i want is learning a new skill or um making a trip happen and being safe and making sure it goes um making sure it's something that's achievable because when people can't plan or when people can't do certain things it's just make it it's just, and i know they want it but they ah. and it's very difficult because people have different conditions people get distracted people life happens you know and that's a thousand percent okay oh i'm afraid of like this thing turning off on me I, i'm afraid of it overheating actually because i have a black phone but um I don't know guys, it just frustrates me because I'm ugh. the one time I really felt really proud of somebody not just taking my advice but believing in themselves was a cousin of mine who um kept showing me over and over again how talented they were. I kept seeing their sketches, I kept seeing their their graphic design skills, I kept seeing how much that they would off they would take photography super seriously kind of like oh i'll do these shoots for free i want to just shoot my friends i want to get better and better and better and better and it can be super frustrating when you have no money um no like no backing no support no financial support for it um and doing things for free that's crazy and it's like super hard to maintain now they are at this point a professional graphic designer and um concert photographer and that has always been the dream. And to see them go from where they were, just taking picture, taking pictures for their friends for free, to, to where they are now, to a point where they had to learn so much and research and get better at their craft. And to see them working in the field they wanted to work in, it's just so, and it took years. It took years and it took, um, and because I believed in it, I. I was offering every hand that I had and the support that I could offer I gave uh, and that's just so beautiful to see to see such inspiration I remember one time a different cousin of mine asked me to help them grow on TikTok they asked me to make them famous I can't do that but I can tell you exactly what I did to kind of learn and grow and get to where I am like 2.9 million followers is a lot and I didn't do that by luck. It took me years to do that. Um, but yeah, of course, there's always luck involved. But um, I was consistent. I was crazy consistent. Of course, I missed a day or two. But um, just for like my own mental mental health, whatever. Um, but I was so consistent. And everything became ideas. And I kept track. And I watched TikToks. And I learned. And every time the algorithm changed or the trend changed, I changed. And it just... And I paid attention to what was going on. Um, and it took years to like get there, but I got there. And when my cousin asked me, I I should have started off by saying, are you prepared to give a year, six months? Are you prepared to do this? Because it's gonna take consistency. It's gonna take discipline. They posted one video. I, I, I remember we sat there for like two hours and wrote down like a whole content strategy. And I was like, this is what you can do you're a funny person, you are really good at skits, you're really good at comedy. Um, this is what you can do, you can create a whole image. We came up with a name, like a whole idea. And these are all like 10 videos you can start off with, like there's a bunch of things you can do. And they made one video, and I, I remember like seeing it and liking it and being like, awesome, we're, we're getting started. And they gave up, completely gave up, why? I mean, of course, when you don't see results, 
it's frustrating and you just want to quit because you want to see like the instant results but I wanted success and I could see I could like look at my page have having like 100 followers or something back when I was starting and I could I could see it I could visually see it with using my imagination of course I could visually see the number change to 100,000 to 500,000 I could picture it in my brain so clearly because I wanted it and I'm a daydreamer but because I wanted it I was like this is something I want I see other creators growing this is what I want and I can't post once a month and think that that's gonna happen you know I have to be consistent what's working what's not what's 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 happening in the like landscape and this is just like that's a lesson in being consistent sure um and to, to and it's so difficult because in, in my journey as a content creator i had an entire year where i didn't get a single brand year brand deal a whole year i went from making like a crazy amount of money per tiktok video on my brand deals to not making any for a year and granted i did step back a little bit i was a little less consistent over that time period because i was i had like i said life um but when i came back i came back super strong consistent 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 trying a whole bunch of different things because the landscape had changed my audience had changed um and imagine having 2.9 million followers and getting 200 800 views a thousand views per video it was so i felt shameful and it, it was so humbling but i didn't stop i couldn't let it stop me i was frustrated for sure for months months i was frustrated and i you know what i did i i was like i need new management my management is not working i i, I need to get better at the content like i've been doing this for three years but i'm not getting a single brand deal it has been a year so i looked for new management i sent emails to like all these agencies finally i sent the right email and i got a response and that's the agency i'm with now and i love them so so much i'm so grateful this is kind of like a video about my TikTok journey, but I'm just frustrated, y'all, because I keep seeing super talented, beautiful people who have all this skill, who have so much to offer the world, not give it or not do it, even though that's what they want, because they don't want to be consistent, because being consistent is hard. Do the hard thing. Do it. Do it every day. Do the hard thing. Do you want it? <laughs> Because I believe it. I can see it for you. I can see you living or working from home, traveling, doing whatever the heck, giving up your nine to five and doing the thing that you want to do because I believe in you because I can see it. You know when somebody sucks at the thing that they're trying to do. You're like, oh, that's not going to work because this actually sucks. Like it actually. No, I have so many beautifully talented people around me who, who like shocks me. I'm like, I could never do what you do. And no one else can either on planet Earth. This is such a this is such a beautiful thing to offer the world and it gets stuck in their like head and no one gets to see it and that's how I felt about my cousin who like I said turned it around and became consistent and shocked me with her ability to do the things that she does like she's incredible like she's out here doing the dream job like she's out here and she's only gonna get bigger and she's only gonna grow bigger and i i true i can see her traveling the planet and taking photos for for bands and she already has she's made so much progress like she already has so many connections in the music field as a photographer and, and a graphic designer she's making band posters she's making album covers she's going off and she started doing it all for free and it's so hard as a college student who's you know not making that much money to do things for free but because you love it so much and you want it that badly ah ah i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying <sighs> calm down but it's it sucks when you believe in something and you believe in someone and and they don't believe in themselves enough to do it you know and and and, and we can keep each other accountable blah, blah blah and i really and i and i believe in keeping each other accountable and be like are you doing the thing are you doing the thing i have friends like that and i love it but yeah, it can be super discouraging to see someone just like give you an excuse rather than be like, this is an obstacle and this is how I'm overcoming it, you know? Cause I can get, cause you can tell me this is my obstacle. This is what's going on. This is, I can't focus on because I got this, this is the, the hurdle. And instead of me saying, okay, well you can do this, that. I don't even do that anymore because I don't even 
once you've given me the hurdle slash obstacle and you're like there's just no way i'm like you can't see a way around this hard thing to continue doing you can't you can't think of a single thing that'll just like that you can figure this whatever i'm like oh you don't want it that's all i hear you don't want it it's hard you don't want it girl it is hard do the hard thing and keep doing it oh my god do it for a year do it for two because that's how long it takes oh my gosh and i don't have to give you all the inspirational stories how mr b started with 100 followers and didn't grow like at all for five years until he finally made his his success i don't have to give you all the sob stories you know them all it's consistency and it's not about like because i've like i said i've been frustrated not a single brand deal in a year is actually insane for somebody who has 2.9 million followers being completely authentic or whatever you call it transparent transparent being tra being uh transparent with it and it really hurt me but i kept making videos and it wasn't until april of 2024 the entire year of 2023 i didn't get a single brand deal it wasn't until april 2024 that i found success on tiktok again that i found my new niche and i found my new style it took that long and i knew it i knew i knew it was around the corner i was like i gotta keep going i gotta keep making videos i gotta keep it, it was to the point where people were like are you still making videos yes i am because i don't see or hear from you yeah i'm still making videos i'm not as successful as i once was but i believe in myself and I didn't even have to tell myself this. I didn't have to tell anyone this. I just knew. I was like, it's gonna be my time. Uh, like one of these days. And I don't even think I'm like, reach the point where I, where I can reach. I have way more to grow. And I believe I'm gonna keep growing. And last year was hard. These last months were hard. When you don't have, when you have nothing to show and it's a bit embarrassing. But I kept going and I'm proud of myself. And that's how I feel about the book that I've been writing for the last two years. Making it better and better and better and better. Um, and if no agency wants me, then we self-publish. Because I'm gonna, it's gonna get out, you know? A writer writes. And this is the longest video ever. I did not expect to make a video this long. But... I don't know y'all if you are talented at something if you're actually good at something because even recently I had a conversation with somebody who told me like they're like oh I'm a I'm a like a photographer for events and stuff and I'm like oh cool cool what's your Instagram they're like I've been doing this for five ten years I don't even know can't remember and I check it out I'm like oh okay it's it's okay truthfully it was like it was pretty all right. It was like, yeah, these are fine. I have friends. This was somebody new I met. I have friends whose photography skills would shock you. I'm like, how did you get that picture? How? I, Because I, I know for a fact you took that in my backyard. How did you get that picture? That's actually crazy. That's talent. That's skill. And and I'm the type of person who thinks like, it's a, it's a camera. You can capture anything, you know? No. It takes skill. It takes talent. And I know people who are so good. But this guy was just, uh, in my opinion, fine. Average, pretty, 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 pretty okay. Nothing like, oh, wow, you know? I, I know people who are like that. And they were like, telling me how good they are. And I'm like, oh, yeah. There are people who are actually good like there are people who are mediocre being consistent and making the money and you're talented <sighs> don't let the come on come on now it's crazy there are people who who be they're not even that good at what they're doing but because they're consistent they're making it isn't that crazy and, and it sucks because you you being the talented person you being the one with the actual skill with with the actual like substance well can't shine because y y you don't want to be consistent you don't want to do the hard thing and there are people out here doing the hard thing 
and they're like so so and they're making it and it's just just like what what yeah but all my friends are super talented so I'm, I just feel really passionate about this because I I see their talent and I'm like I don't think talent goes to waste necessarily but I would love the world to like see their talent as well